And now, a thought from man. Today's subject: Long live the Royals. You know, Long live the Royals is pretty good. I mean, it's a nice mini series, but I have to be honest, it it doesn't compare to previous Cartoon Network mini series. It in no way beats Over the Garden Wall. <laughs> Hell, it doesn't even beat Adventure Time Stakes miniseries. And I mean, I'll be honest. A quick little thing on that is I don't like how it ended with everything just going back the way it was. It's like, come on, we need a little bit of change here and there. But whatever. It's just that there's really, I mean, there's nothing really to this series. It's not bad. It's good. It's funny. I like the characters just fine, but there's just not much to it. It's just a four-episode miniseries, and the thing is, there's no narrative. There's no big storyline or big plot to have to pay attention to. It's just this royal family just kind of going through the motions of being a royal family with a little bit of modern-day technology. I mean, it doesn't hurt it. The technology, even then, it's not the most advanced stuff. It's, you don't see someone with a full-on iPhone or, or whatnot. You, the most you see is like a phone or a laptop. It's okay. The main characters are pretty cool. I like the king. He he has this nice energy about him, and he's not an evil tyrant. He he's likable, very likable. While he may have a bit of a "I know what's best" type of mentality, he, you know, he's not—he's able to learn his lesson. He's not full-on conservative. Everything must be this way and that way. He's flexible on a lot of stuff, and he's actually pretty fun. So, yeah. Let the festival begin! Ah, that was a good speech. The queen, if anything, is probably the more conservative type. She seems more reserved on how things should be, and it's one of those, if it's my way or the highway, if you don't do what I say, then off with your head. Granted, they don't do that here, but you kind of get that idea from her. <laughs> oh, Rufus, I should have never let you build that balcony. Their kids are alright. There's nothing terrible about them. The character Peter, their eldest son, He's nice. He's a kind of he's kind of a goofball. He'll mess up and you know, he learns a lesson. And it's okay. Nothing wrong with him. He's just kind of your simple goofball character. He doesn't really fall into those traps of like, oh my father, my mother and them don't understand me. Well, he sort of falls into it, but even then it's a small resolve and it, they don't linger on it enough, so it doesn't get annoying or very cliche-ish. So he's cool. It appears he's completing a placemat maze puzzle alone. Yeah, I finished 15 mazes. I even helped the lion find some steak and eggs. I kind of like the character Rosalind a little. You know, she's kind of your typical teenager, you know? You know, she'd rather be hanging out with her friends, doing this and that, not really focusing on whatnot. She even kind of falls in line of the whole, I want to sneak out to go hang with my friends or do something that involves my friends. And eh, it's not terrible. It's fine. Rosalind hurling sabers in the servants' quarters. I only missed twice. The character Alex, there's not much going off of him. He's kind of your simple, typical t kid character who's just kind of crazy. You know? I mean, <laughs> there's not much going off of him. He's just a kid character who's just very crazy. He, we don't really get much interaction from him. So, eh. What's the matter, Peter? Don't have any friends? You're just like that single old boot. One thing, though, I do have to say is it definitely feels like regular show. Granted, it's from a guy who worked on regular show. John Zales or so, if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm probably butchered his name. He he was like the supervising producer for Regular Show, and his the humor it's very similar to Regular Show. I mean that doesn't make it bad, you know. I like Regular Show, but 
it's, I mean, it's a bit distinguishable. But another thing is also, the way the episodes end, it feels a bit like, that's sort of how I see regular show ending it. Ending, like, whatever problem they had, you know? They, you know, of course they saved the day, fixed the problems and all that, but I kind of see regular show. But that's just kind of a minor problem with it. The way the last episode ends is kind of weird because it's kind of a, hey, we might be back. And I'm like, okay, that's good, but why were you selling yourself as a miniseries? You know, like the last episode sort of ends with there being somewhat of a start of a narrative. And it's like, well, what was the big point of these four episodes? I thought it was a miniseries. Um, I don't know. It's it's kind of weird, but I mean, if it means more episodes, like if Cartoon Network does choose to keep this show going, I'm okay with that. I like this show. It's good. I like the characters. They're good. All in all, this is a good show, but I mean, if you don't want to kind of see a bit of regular show's humor, then you may not like this. It definitely feels a lot more like regular show. But it's still a good show. The characters are nice. And the premise can be nice too. So there's nothing really bad about it. And the way it ends kind of makes it feel like there's going to be some other type of story arc to it or so. And that makes me look a little forward to new episodes. So if they keep this show going, I would continue to watch. But that's just a thought.